I've lost all ambition for worldly acclaim. I just want to be the one you love. I've lost all ambition for worldly Hello, everybody, and welcome to another night of streaming. Welcome in, welcome in. We are here, we are live, and we are alive. We are living it and loving it. We are chilling with the best of them and hanging out. Welcome in, everybody who's already dropping in. Lawsonator, Sally, OG Bree, welcome in, welcome in. Thank you guys for coming by. This is a very late night stream because Mikey was out uh, partying. Not partying, I was at a bar. Uh, getting some drinks, hanging out, um, eating some French fries, watching a live band. It was actually, they played Freebird and shit. It was actually pretty good, but welcome in, guys. It is spooky game night. <clears throat> we are continuing our nightly streams in October, even though they tend to be a little late. And sorry, do you, do you guys, should I, should I remove this, guys? Do you guys want to see my face more? Do you guys just want to have the mic here? Cause last time when we did Casey topics or whatever we did with Sally last time, uh, when we tried to Vegemite, like the, the mic itself was some fine. So do you guys want this? Cause this is just kind of iconic now. This is just kind of part of the, part of the stream, but welcome in guys. Um, welcome in, welcome in. Thank you for dropping by. I know it is very late in the evening. Unless, I mean, unless you're an Aussie, like Lozi the Aussie, who is like 3 PM over there. Uh, OG Bree said, Mikey face 100%, makes it look pro, also TY for the help, for sure, man, for sure. Uh, I had a situation myself where I needed translating one time, and I had somebody that I could call upon, so I was, I'm glad I was able to help. But real quick, guys, before we get into the stream, um, you know, uh, I don't know how you guys have been keeping up with current events, uh, especially with the conflict that goes down over there in the Middle East. Uh, but Israel was um, attacked by uh, terrorists. Uh, I'm not going to say that these terrorists are all the people they, that are of that faith. But, you know, there is a religious war going on and, you know, things are happening. So me being a Jew... Uh, somebody who believe has the faith, you know, and somebody who knows people who have family over there, not necessarily my bloodline, but extended family, like my in-laws families, like my sister-in-law and stuff like that. So prayers to Israel guys, prayers to the Gaza Strip, prayers to Palestine, prayers to everyone, honestly, because the war is horrible and it's not something that it should be look forward for even though there's a lot of sketchy political stuff that went behind what happened today we just want to keep in our hearts and in our minds and if you guys believe in any sort of faith in our prayers to the elderly the women and the children that have been taken kidnapped um over the Gaza strip as to use for leverage uh, people who are not in their beds tonight peacefully and that deserve to have you know children who deserve to live as innocently as life can be in those early years before corruption those kids are not in their beds tonight those kids are not safe and i always you know when it comes to because i have nibblings you know and one of those nibblings is my niece and she's my goddaughter. So I, it makes me think when, you know, when I hear about kids, it always makes me think of them. So guys, regardless of, you know, political beliefs, religious beliefs, just prayers out there to the Middle East, to Israel, to the conflict, to Palestine, because there are good people on both sides. And right now these terrorists are the ones who are instigating shit, the bad people. So, you know. Uh, I hope everybody uh, can support, at least in some thoughts, you know, maybe not necessarily some prayers, but, you know, me being um, a person of the Judaism faith or the Jewish faith, however you want to call it, um, it's heavy. It's heavy. 
you know, when things like this happen, I feel them more in my heart than when things happen in Mexico or, you know, things like that, because these are things that have been going on for, you know, centuries. So anyway, I, I know it's a little, you know, sad to start the stream like that, but just, you know, wanted to put that out there because it is, it, it is a thing that's happening right now. So I uh, just wanted to put that the Mike Perchick spooky game night, you know, late night stream, whatever, uh, has his heart out to Israel. And hopefully things don't get crazier, but as it looks like, there's things might just get upside down. But regardless, you know, speaking of actual horrors, you know, like when we talk about horror games and things like that and spooky movie night and whatnot, um, these are the horrors of real life. So it's, you know, we got to face them and we got to, you know, deal with them. So hopefully... My extended family, I guess, even though I'm not too familiar with them because they're, you know, like my in part of my endless family. Um, may they be safe. May they find their way. May any kid who is in, you know, in a spot who when they're scared right now where they don't know if their life is going to continue or end. May they find some sort of bravery, some sort of closure, something to help them get through these tough times, some sort of inspiration. So, yeah, our, my heart goes out to the families and to the mothers and the children and the elder, elderly that were all taken across uh, being kidnapped. Oh, did we said World War Three, maybe? Yeah, I mean, potentially you could argue that. I mean, if China starts backing someone or if Russia starts backing a country in America, because America is a Israel ally. So, I mean, as of now, at least, you know, there's things that Trump was saying before about how, you know, in the anniversary of 9-11, Joe Biden gave X amount of money to Iran, and apparently Iran has been funding Hamas, you know, and he's the leader of the terrorist organization that invaded uh, Israel yesterday morning, or I guess today morning. I don't know. It was, uh, it was Sunday for them, so I, I believe they're going on Monday. Um, not sure uh, on the time zone over there yet. But, you know, the Iron Dome stands, guys. Even though they're getting bombed, Israel has some of the... Uh... Sally said, I feel like BlackRock and Vanguard are some behind some of this. Regardless, you know, people are still being killed. Um, our people. So, uh, whoever's behind it, I mean, it goes back chains, I'm sure. But people are dying. And we just got to... Take solitude in that. Um, <clears throat> no, Jubri said, did you also hear about the attacks in Cali as well? I didn't. I mean, honestly, look, um, even people I train jujitsu with who are, you know, part of the faith. Uh, this one guy that I train, he's a purple belt. He's a great guy. We were going to get together in his house today. And, um, you know, we were going to watch some flow grappling, some jujitsu fights over there. And he canceled because all that stuff going on and he wanted to just stay updated. I'm sure he has family. Uh, so he said, I'm just saying we can put a stop to it if people stand up. I mean, fucking spread the stream. We can get it going right now, man. I will do anything to keep children, especially people of our faith, people who have suffered for centuries to stop dying. Just people to stop fighting and dying in general. I mean, why can't everybody just do jujitsu and get it over with and you know, fucking take it to the street or whatever. I, I never understood how people cannot express themselves diplomatically. Um, people who always, people who always have the need to be right are people who never understand. You know, smart people will always take new information and change their opinion and base that on the new information they receive. Stubbornness is a sign of idiocracy. <clears throat> Excuse me, guys. Uh, so they said I need to go back so bad work this morning instead of class Mondays for sure. Yeah, uh, I didn't go Friday. My knee was feeling a little fucky. I didn't want to push it because I know if you start pushing recovery, it'll fuck you up. So uh, but anyway, guys, we are here for a spooky game night, of course, uh, not to get too solemn, not to get too sad, not to get too philosophical or spiritual. But we are here for spooky game night, guys. And you guys are here to see some Friday the 13th. Okay. 
we experienced a fun gameplay with this the other day, which was yesterday, I believe. But it was fun. And I got some good clips out of it, man. These fucking TikToks. I get so mad when, like, some lame-ass TikTok that I post gets, like, 800 views, right? That does some shitty TikTok that, like, some awesome TikTok that I post gets, like, 200. It's like, fuck. But I love this game because, obviously, too, it's, like, an homage, you know, a love letter to retro stuff, which is great. Um, Friday the 13th is a great horror franchise. Ah, uh, it's choppy again. Are we gonna fix that? Maybe we can fix that by. What's this? Yeah, we don't need Firefox anymore. But welcome in, guys. Let's bring the spirits back up. Obviously, you know, we also want to have a good time. This is a place where you come to hang out, to be cozy, to chill, to talk some shit, to tell us how you feel, and to tell me what's worrying you. What's up? What's happening? What's everybody doing? Is everybody have a good day? Uh, it was Saturday. It was a weekend here over in America. So Australians, you guys were having your Sunday. Uh, how was it, guys? How was it? OG bread? Did you make any bread? Did you hang out with your husband and do uh, husband and wife things? I don't know what they, they do because I'm, I'm not married. But, you know, what is up? What is up, guys? What is going on? Um, I know that that got that intro part got a little heavy, but we are getting we got other stuff coming in, guys. We got some games. Oh, Jibri said Friday the thirteenth approaching. Yeah, we're gonna do some. Uh, let's do some quick play. We're gonna play as a counselor. Hopefully, I wanna. I really wanna try to survive. I really, really wanna try to survive. Oh. I like that I already have my characters hey, like picks. And then I held them, like, like, Damn, people are playing on, on late R9. OGB said no, but we will do hubby and wife things tomorrow. And that's nice. You guys, what's tomorrow? Sunday? Aw, uh, cute. You guys are gay. Just kidding. Kind of gay. gay. Like Donald Trump would say, you're gay. Very gay. The gayest. Man, nobody likes OG Jason, man. Everybody has the one. With the hockey mask, I'm the only one with the Jason with the uh, with the nutsack on his face. Uh, OJ Breeze said today was slow and didn't feel like doing much today. All right, I feel you. I didn't do much today either. I did laundry and then like some friends wanted me to go play jam and play some instruments with them, like jam out. And uh, I actually had promised a friend that we were gonna hang out instead. So I didn't go jam, I hung out with my buddy and we just kind of hung out, ate some pizza, had a few beers and uh, talked some shit. Uh, made, <laughs> made Donald Trump impersonations at each other all day, which is a good day to you, if you ask me. <clears throat> but yeah, I mean, sometimes Saturdays can be nice and lazy and fun. Are these guys not going to ready up? Man, this is bullshit. This is bullshit. I can't hear this kid. Can you guys hear this kid? What is he talking about? He's talking some shit. This kid's gaslighting here. He's like, if the shoe fits, motherfucker. This kid's probably hitting them with some knowledge and they can't handle it. Oh, Jibri said, tomorrow we are rearranging the house for an insurance expansion for Monday. Why is that? Are you selling your house? Are you going into the, um, uh, what's that called? Realty, realtor market? So he said, is that NPC or a real person in lobby? No, these are real people. That's a little kid. We're playing on Nintendo Switch, brother. Get ready for it. Kids can sounds creepy as fuck. I mean, dude, if he's playing fucking Friday the 13th, 
he probably has some demons already. At his age, I would have been scared of this shit. Murder. Oh, Mickey Mouse! Oh. <laughs> I know exactly what you're talking about. Yeah. Oh, Jibri said we need a uh, new roof, and we're trying to convince them to pay for it, low, but we have things in the house to hide from them. Is that your marijuana you're hiding? Brian Jr. is just arguing with this guy. Alright, you guys want to see a magic trick now you see me? No, you don't. It might have been a gay ass meme. Gay ass meme? They have a. Okay, okay. They have a he, was just, he was like he was screaming. Freaking. So they said, alright, brother, hope you have a great stream. I'm going to sleep. Got to do inventory tomorrow. Alright, man, take care. Have a good night. Get some rest. Take it easy. Stay golden. Okay. Okay. I'm good. Get up. Sally called me today to translate for him because he had a customer in the store who didn't speak a lick of English. <coughs> and I, you know, the reason why, you know, like, because honestly, like, I could have been busy, like, I was hanging out with my friend. But I decided to help him out because I remember one time I used to work at this gas station. I'm not going to say which one because I don't know if it'll get in trouble if I, like, out them. Or it's not really outing them. It's just kind of like kind of a fuck story if you ask me. But anyway, so I walk. I was a second shift manager. And I walk inside. And in this gas stations, we have tables where people sometimes come and eat their lunch. Right, and um, this is not happening. There was a lady there, you know, in one of those tables crying. And I go up to the first shift manager, who I, you know, I have to talk to every time because uh, we exchange like things that need to get, be done, you know, from shift to shift and whatnot. And I go up to her and I'm like, "Hey, um, Rebecca, the game's on a little over you." All right, thanks, Bree. You feel free to have some on the, the, but we'll fix it here. All right, hopefully that's better. I survived. I survived. But it, yeah, so I walked in, and the first shift manager. I'm like, hey. You know, uh, why is that lady in, you know, like the lobby, like crying? And she's like, oh my God, she's still there. And I'm like, what do you mean she's still there? And she said, yeah, she's been here for like one, maybe two hours. And I said, what do you mean she's been here for like one, maybe two hours? What are you talking about? Why? Has nobody helped her? And she's like, no, she just came in here and was crying. And I said, what? has anybody found out why? And she said, no. Um... Like, nobody knows why she's crying. And I go up to her and I try to talk to her. And I'm like, ma'am, are you okay? What's happening? And she's just crying and she speaks Russian. And I don't speak Russian, but my sister-in-law does. So luckily, you know, I had somebody who was able to translate to me like that. The way I was able to translate for Sully today. Because this guy, when I spoke to him, he sounded like he really needed that. That that's that medicine, you know what I'm saying? That 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 plant. So I remember I got my sister in law to translate for me and she basically told me that the lady's son had gotten uh detained, like he was in a jail cell. Well, I, I guess arrested, not detained, right? 
and they were immigrants and they didn't have documentation kind of like my situation is and you know she was trying to get hold of a pastor who they're part of a church in their community to help them find a way to get the bond or something just to get them out of prison or jail because the gas station i worked for was right across the jail or the um you know the prison whatever you call it though the police station right not the prison prisons are different but the police station so i remember she you know nobody helped her and i was just there because she was crying man and i remember just seeing this lady and you know my sister-in-law she is ukrainian so she's over there you know like russian ukrainian ussr side and you know i related to her even though she's not part of my same faith but i remember she asked me you know we finally get a hold of this pastor because i finally was able to translate for her and I'm, i i called like these three different churches and shit like that and he was like yeah i'm on my way you know what's the address and i was like it's this racetrack and, and he came to pick her up and i remember i even went up to her and while she was sleeping and she hugged me and she was she, she grabbed me because she was like no older lady she grabs you know like my face like poking my cheeks and she's telling me like oh my god thank you so much like god bless you like you are so kind like are you a christian and i was like no actually i'm jewish and she was like yeah like i can tell like you guys you fucking like your people are so nice and i hope after that she maybe like was a little less anti-semitic because some christian russians are very anti-semitic and I just felt good to have been able to maybe have got, helped her get to the steps to get her son out of spending the night in jail, you know? So I remember just that story a lot and it, it's close to my heart. It's definitely something that's, that's stuck with me, but not to get more sappy. It's just, it's been a rough day for people of the faith. <clears throat> it's, it really has been, I'm not going to lie. But OG Bree said that was nice of you to check on her. I mean, I had to because I walk in there and he, look, here's the thing. When I worked at this gas station, uh, I was like the youngest manager. Like I, I joined in December and by May, I was already a manager. I was a second shift, like a shift manager. And like it was going into my shift, like it was two o'clock. Like people were you know coming in and like you know and it was winter too or fall like the sun comes down and, you know by three o'clock you see the sun starting to get low and then it gets lower by four and then it's five and then by six it's just fucking gone so it was just a very different you know the, like darkness was coming and i just felt like why is nobody helping this lady like she's obviously in need of of some some comfort you know and i thankfully you know you know in my life i've always been blessed to know a lot of people with different connections and that have different skills that are useful or helpful when it comes in tight situations damn i hate how choppy the audio is jesus christ i guess this game is just never gonna stop i'm the killer I'm the killer. Ah, uh, whack. All right, Jake. I call him Jake because in that one TikTok I posted, she was like, he deserved to die, Jake. All right, let's go. You can't lock this bitch. Here's Jason. Somebody jumped out the window. I think that Jason with the sack on his head is way scarier. Personally. Respectfully. 
The Hawking Mask is iconic, don't get me wrong. But... OJB said, break that door down like you're trying to get in the bathroom, bro. You have not seen me when I'm trying to get in the bathroom straight up. Dude, fucking lay a fucking trap right here. Right by the door. Is there no one in there? Oh, whack. They probably think they all think I probably fucking suck at this game. This is, they're ganging on you, yeah, for real, they're jumping me. Get up, Jason, Jesus Christ. This game's difficult. They took my sack.
God, I suck at this game. I can't even morph. Dude, this game sucks. Fuck, I'm bad at this. Don't forget to use everything you can from these skills. Lol, yeah, true. Uh, OG said the children are scary and I used to hear one saying I got his mask old. Yeah, fuck them. I mean, I think they're all escaped. Like, where are they? Are these cheeky kids, bro? How? How did I miss? He literally fell onto me. Yes, finally. Did my shit just lag? Jason, don't let them find me, Jason. Stop them. Oh, Jason can run too? I did not know that. Dude, I literally just been walking every time. Get up, Jason. Find them. Kill them. Fuck, I didn't know he could run. Damn, he's one ugly motherfucker. God damn it! Do you know what your gift is? No matter what they do to you, you cannot die. You can never die, Jason. Mother is talking to you. Put the weapon down and come to mommy. That's good. Fuck mommy. That's my Jason. My Jason. That's my special. Jason, my boy, do you know what you're getting? Oh. No matter what they do to you, you cannot die. You can you never can die. die. Where are they? Now that I know that he can run, this is better. But where the fuck are these kids?
Where do you go? Oh, bullshit. Where the fuck is he? Dude, this has been one of the games I had to fucking hardest concentrate on. Oh, this is a crock of shit. At least now I know he can run. Hold on, I need to catch up on chat here. Um, OG Bree said, Lo, he just jumped out in front of you. Oh, they fed. Now they, you will run for sure. They, they're playing with you, savages. I know, for real. Oh, no, the cops are coming. Yeah, they called 5-0. Five, five, oh. They called the feds on me, guys. What are we going to do? Well, I'm coming for you, kid. How did I get stuck behind some fucking marrows? God, like half of this game is getting fucking stuck. Oh my god, how do I miss?
Why? Ah. Are you using the Jason teleport? I'm trying. Damn, and then they got all these fucking traps on me. Who the fuck are these kids, man? I'm done with this. The cops are coming, I know, right? Two minutes remain. Fuck me. I didn't kill anyone. Yeah, guys, I lost. <laughs> Teleport, where? Cops are here. Ah, oh, whack. You shift, you sense and shift. Yeah, no, ah, fuck. I killed one. Ah, I suck. Jesus Christ. I need, I need OG Bree and Navinix to get this on, uh, Switch. Shit, no, that's bad. Uh, no, that's bad. Don't play us next to the next time. I don't get to choose. And even then I get killed, but I wasn't going to do that long of a stream anyway today. So we might do like one more and then we're going to call it. I'm leaving. <laughs> yes. No. Here, guys, give me one second. Let's see. OGB said, I'll get the game. Yeah, please do. I need I need to do it with friends. Uh, let me see if I can... Oh, hello? Oh, how long have you been there, Jariah? Look, Jariah's been sleeping here. Look at that. What a sleepy mini me store. Say hello. Hola, me llamo Jariah. I poop in a box. Uh, I guess let's do online, offline bots. 
whatever. I guess I should switch up my... I like the shot through the heart on it. The skull crush is just amazing. Alright, we'll go with that. And we'll accept. Uh, and we'll start it. Alright, let's see if we can do better as Jason against some bots rather than people. I mean, everybody just kept fucking running away from me. It wasn't fair. I don't know, man. Every time I got near them with that whole, like, like invert like stock power or whatever it was like okay um why can't i attack him it was i don't know it was just kind of bullshit hey guys i just took the biggest fucking shit wait what's behind you oh it's jason oh oh he twisted his neck like a screw bro he went like an owl head Near with stock, then you shift to get them. I don't know what shifts. And get your revenge. OGB said also break the power boxes, turn out the lights and cause them more fear. Okay. So let's see, how do we do that? Power boxes, power boxes. Yes, that, okay. So we're doing something right now. We're going to need a lot of practice. Find their objectives and stalk them. It's like Among Us. Where's the power box in this one? Thank you. I wish I had a mini map. Like like yes, kill them all. Ojibri loves this. What's the telephone line? But I'm looking for the power. There should be a power box somewhere here. There it is. Ugh, dumbass. Weak mortals. OG Bree, do you have a god complex? Hmm.
Your cam is blocking the abilities. Can you move up to the right corner? Yes, fam, worship me. Here, I'll do you one better. Bam. That way you can be fully immersed in the game. Oh, you can knock on it. No, come back. Build your util. What does that mean? Where are you, kids? Oh god. That's triggering. Not gonna lie. Help! Oh god. This is a cool one. Ah, oh, damn it. Hey, you want to know what my favorite candy bar is? It's the Nestle Crunch! Oh, damn. Break power boxes so you can see them better. I did. Yeah, skill for your dummy mommy. This is why I'm so freak. Oh, God, no, it's just very triggering. Uh, very, very triggering because of my own issues. Lol, 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 lol. OG Bread. Thanks. Shout out to OG Bread for hanging out. OG Bread, I should mod you. Because you're here hanging out with me. Even though it's just you. Even though it's just the bread. But you're keeping it OG. And I appreciate it. Alright, well, I broke the power boxes. I don't know why I, like... Yeah, see, that's breaking. I'm gonna go for a light jog here. Just because I'm a serial killer, guys, doesn't mean I wanna make my heart kill me. Explain modding later to me and I'll have you, fam. All right, bet. You just have to shout out people. And delete rude comments and ban people who are rude or cheeky. Just open the door. Where is everyone? Oh, you're doing something I don't like over here. Ah! 
Boy, howdy. Where'd you go, Missy? Oh. Oh, you bitch. How dare you stab me? She jumped out the window, didn't she? God damn it. What if she jumped back in? No more doors. No. Alright, let's bring her to the light so we can do something crazy to her. What is this? What are we gonna do? Oh, choking her to death. Oh, no. Rip. Yeah. Kill Let's just break this mother. sword just for fun. Kill for mother. Where could the rest of them be? Hey, kids. Jason just wants to be your friend. I'm just a friendly neighborhood, Jason. Oh, yo. No one. No one wants to be Jason's friend. Even though I brought Chick fil A for everyone that one time, they still drowned me and made fun of me. Hola, anybody here? Hola, me llamo Jason. I poop in a box. Looks like the power's back on. How are firecrackers so affecting like that I'm stunned? Oh this bitch. Where'd she go? Ah. That insufferable bitch. Oh, that scared the fuck out of me.
Bam, got another one. Ugh, stop it with the mommy thing. All right, there's some telephone lines here that we need to just not have because they called it ops on us. It's unrealistic. I should be able to fucking break that. Hmm, just already the body here. Well, nothing there. Maybe they'll try to fix up some cars? Some wheels? Maybe they'll get some vehicles? There's nobody here? No? Nah, whack. Fuck. <laughs> I saw it. I saw it. How many more should do? I wonder there are. Let's go to the main house. Oh no! No way. How did the cops get here already? I hate when I hold them and then you just let me go, and then like uh, he lets them go. You can never die. Where did this motherfucker go? Oh, this is gonna be a good one. Navi next! Ayo! Oh, Jesus Christ, he takes executioner's shop. That's that boy. Oh, that's my boy. Hunt them down and make them pay. So, if we come here where the cops are, we'll probably. Where's your camera? Oh, OG Breeze deemed me too ugly to be on stream, so I took it off. So now he's gonna chill here, and then I'm just gonna slice some dice. Now I'm gonna accept. <gasps> yeah, I know. But Ojibri said it. She was like, I know I want to see the game. I don't want to see you. So here we are, you know, here we are in X. Who survived? I killed one man. That's whack. 
Oh, did you reset? No, 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 no. Oh, stop it. Oh, did you reset? Hi, Nabi. Oh, ha, 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 ha. This is an outrage. Man, if this is an outrage, you're going to be even more pissed. Because, like, I'm about to call it. Mikey hit his cam when I asked him to move it so I could see the ability abilities. Yeah, well, don't be asking me dumb shit, OG Green. That's okay. I was just talking about to say hello anyway. Oh, are you with your friend of Nyx? Navi Nyx is with their friend of Nyx. But yeah, no, we're calling it, guys. We're just gonna hang out. We it was it was gonna be a short stream anyway because it's super late. It's time for bed. I got work in the morning, and Jirai is just here sleeping on my notebook. Say hi, Jiraiya. <laughs> Navinik said, "I am good, good. I hope you're having a good time. I was with my friend earlier too. That's your Rikiel. But you know, it's always awesome when." Uh, we have, uh, you know, all of y'all coming by to hang out and say what's up and support the stream. Uh, OGB said, don't forget to feed your bathroom goblin, Mikey. Oh, yeah, no, they're going to get all of it. All their dinner. Uh, Navinik said, hi, Shazbot. Hi. I don't know who Shazbot is, but hola, Shazbot. But yeah, guys, thank you for everybody who dropped in. Lawsonator, Sally, Ojibri, Navinex. Thank you guys for coming by. You guys always support the stream. Uh, this was a late one for sure. Normally, I go earlier, but hopefully in the next one, it'll be earlier. Now, Ojibri said, happy birthday, Shazbot. Shazbot, is your birthday. Happy birthday, Shaspa. But yeah, guys, thank you so much for dropping by. Um, I hope that everybody has a good evening. I hope everybody stays safe. And without being said, I hope you guys stay happy. I hope you guys stay safe. And I hope you guys stay golden. And good night. Just wanna be the one you love. Thoughts all ambitious, ambitious, worldly.